So this whole concept of uh, natural rights somehow being derived from nature itself uh, is bogus, uh, to say the least. Um, because whilst we do have inclinations towards some kind of moral system based roughly on, on not, they're not even principles, on urges of reciprocal altruism, they are inconsistent. Uh, they're highly inconsistent. I mean, the, the idea that natural rights for example, are so somehow equatable, say, with the laws of thermodynamics, which for the most part are invi inviolable. Um, uh, yeah, it's just, it's just incredible. I mean, we engage as human beings in constant violation as opposed to, say, uh, the laws of actual nature, the laws of physics. Um, on, a, on, a, on a near constant basis, people break, break the law and engage in uh, behavior that is counter to what he would claim. So the simple fact is, is that whether we like it or not, actual moral systems are, are inventions. They are, they are inventions. It's not a bad thing. It's a necessary thing. They are inventions based on the consensus of civilization. And these normative standards do, these normative behavioral standards, which end up uh, in, in turning into some kind of moral system eventually, do have their uh, background, of course, in biology, but that is <clears throat> that is uh, th these are primal urges. That is not a complete moral system. Thus, the the, the laws and rights the, are based upon consensus. Human beings saying, "Yeah, this is a good idea. Let's do this. That's not a good idea. Let's not do that." And people who do deviate from the normative standard are then punished. Uh, they have nothing to do with the laws of nature. I mean, it's it's absurd, lest you wish to claim that rocks have rights. Uh, it's you know. so. It's not only his his philosophy, if you want to call it that, just totally off the wall, and he borrows heavily from. I mean, most of his stuff is just parroting stuff, snippets from guys like John Locke and 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 Rand and 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 the like. Uh, it's it's heavily flawed because his his arguments are just terrible. They're based on on fallacious thinking. Uh, the, the the idea that uh, that the laws of nature are somehow equatable to natural rights, um, you know, and and whereas you know, and at the same time he, he wants to fo um, follow that line of thought, and is oblivious or will, willfully ignores various examples in nature that uh, that don't don't add up uh, to his argument, don't add up to him, and uh, eff effectively contradict what he's claiming. Like I said, there are uh, numerous species, particularly amongst uh, birds and penguins, uh, where apparently homosexual members of that species engage in part of the child rearing. Um, and according to mystery, as I said, this is just an example, it's not a pet peeve I have, uh, he says that homosexuals should ha should not be allowed to even be in any proximity to children whatsoever, uh, th you know, and certainly not adopt. Um, you know, and and tell that to an orphan child. Maybe a gay couple would be able to give him a better life than, I don't know, just hanging out in the orphanage his whole life. And of course, if you're a heterosexual couple with fertility problems, well, if you live in the the brave new world of rock of blocking mystery. Uh, you better just adopt as well because you have no natural rights because because your wife or the husband or maybe both of you have some kind of problem with your body uh, that isn't giving you the the instant knock them up and pop out a baby effect that that he claims is the is the natural right reproduction is a natural right it's I mean it's not even a it's a process it's not a right it's just insane um, so. Yeah, then forget about it, because in the brave new world of blocking mystery, you're not going to have uh, even be allowed to access any kind of biomedical technology. No. So this is, of course, the hallmark of, as I said, as a fascist, someone who tells a, a bully, a dictator, who tells other people what they can or cannot do. Uh, this is not a libertarian, and people actually think this guy's libertarian are insane. I mean, anyone who bullies other people and tells them what to do, and then makes... 
uh, makes up lies. I mean, you saw Barbarossa's recent video where he literally, literally lies about Barbaros, Barbarossa's familial background. Uh, uh, you know, it's it's not only is it disgusting, it's just absurd. And this is what leads me partially to believe that he's on some level he suffers from some kind of personality disorder. I'm I'm not sure which, uh, because. Or maybe he's just blinded by hatred. I don't know. But the thing is, uh, the thing is, is that I find I could just could have just left left this be. But he you know he continues and persists on with this. Now it's ironic I find that he claims he is a uh, an objectivist. That's what he claims. He's a, a stout a, a stout a stout stalwart and devoted follower of Ayn Rand. Now it's funny, many, many years ago, many moons ago when I was young, I called myself a Randian. But the fact is, is that his issue with MGTOW is that men choose to live in rational self-interest for themselves, a philosophical principle heavily espoused by Ayn Rand, and yet he chooses to live for the collective. He, In one of his more recent videos, he goes, he spouts on about uh, natural rights and how MGTA, we are a cult, of course, a cult of vermin. Hello, my name is Stardust, High Lord of the Cult of Vermin. Uh, we, <laughs> just kidding. We who choose to invest our energy in ourselves and to, ever, and to the people that we choose to do so, uh, we are, uh, I don't know, all kinds of bad things, but certainly vermin, uh, th thugs, ghetto thugs, and he claims that we're, we we have no rights because we have no responsibility. Well, that's not true. We have a responsibility to ourselves and to whoever, to whoever we choose to have a responsibility to. So, you see, uh, this is once again bogus arguments. Whereas he claims this is this is the anti-collectivist, right? The the anti-fascist. No, this is the collectivist fascist blocking mystery who claims that people have obligations to society to as opposed to their to their own individual person he literally says this he literally says this men going their own way have no rights because we we have abdicated responsibility to whom we've not abdicated responsibility to ourselves no we've abdicated responsibility to the collective world at large to women to people like you blocking mystery and to various others uh, it's it's uh, it amuses me that people don't don't see this that he makes he just makes stuff up. So the real I mean, and this is what you effectively see: traditional conservatives are essentially tribalists, and tribalists by their very nature are collectivists. Uh, they only endorse what they tribalistically speaking and collectively speaking is good, um, and anything that falls outside of that paradigm, of course, is bad. Uh, not only is it not only is it bad, it's it's to be shunned, and uh, in the in the best of cases to be to be to be banned. I mean, you hear I mean, these in vitro fertilization, uh, gay gay people adopting. Uh, if you choose not to live for collective society, uh, you have no rights apparently, even though you have responsibility to yourself and to the people that you choose to have responsibility for. That, of course, is objectivism, and I'm not a huge fan of objectivism in its purest form these days, but that is what Ayn Randian objectivism is. It's living for yourself, rational self-interest, on your own terms, and for whoever you choose to share those self-interests with. And yet, blocking mystery rants on about uh, the, the, the necessity uh, to have responsibility to the collective. You know, his real issue, of course, is, I mean, this is why it's, his arguments are just so incoherent. His real issue, of course, is that men going their way are, are vocal, that we actually speak our minds. Now, if we would just shut up and, and, and toe the line, then, yeah, that wouldn't be a problem. Uh, and, of course, never mind all the petty comments. He's made comments telling people that they're evolutionary losers because they're, they're not having children. And, and I'll make the argument to blocking mystery that the chav who lives uh, in the other neighborhood uh, down in Cardiff or wherever hell you're from, exactly, uh, who's had already had five kids when he's 28, is has already outstripped you, evolutionary speaking. Uh, 
evolution doesn't care about whether or not you're responsible, a responsible parent or not. They only it only cares. It doesn't care about anything. It's a process, but quote unquote, it only cares uh, as long as the uh, the genetic material is out there and then that genetic material re replicates itself. It doesn't care if people are happy. It doesn't care if your children are happy. All it cares about is genetic about genetic copies, copies of genes and copies of DNA, and that's it. So his entire so if he wants to frame it along those lines. You know, the, the welfare mothers, the chavs, and all of these guys, I mean, they, they, with, 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 in some cases, half a dozen children by the end of their 20s, these guys are, are, are evolutionary winners. Far greater successes than blocking Mr. E. Uh, so his entire philosophy is just based on a bunch of nonsense, essentially. He's a, he's a collectivist fascist who tells people what to do with their lives uh, and tells them what they cannot do. Uh, and, I mean... I, and not to mention, uh, this is, I mean, the fact that he had the inclination to call Barbarossa a ghetto thug, because Barbarossa is not a Caucasian person, uh, shows you that a not too subtle inclination towards racism as well. I mean, uh, he, he's, a, as Barbarossa said, a thoroughly disgusting individual, repugnant individual, uh, and a society ruled by the likes of blocking mystery you could, I, 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 I'm almost willing to bet money that the likes of MGTOW would literally probably would be executed uh, under under state, uh, some state dictate. And uh, I, he probably, he probably would have, um, I don't know for sure, he certainly would ha have some kind of uh, separatist society. I mean, gay people probably be rounded up and live to live in their own communities. At the very least, maybe they would be executed as well. I don't really know. I'm not going to make too much speculation about that, but to summarize, uh, to summarize, uh, and we're going to move into part three now because once again, uh, copyright infringement limitation. So I'll see you in a bit. To some, so the summary will be uh, will be in the next in part three.